In late 1944, as Europe burned and armies clashed, a terrifying giant rolled from the mist. The King Tiger's 77 short tons of armored power, unstoppable and unforgettable. Inside shadowed hangars, the Tiger II stood under lights, its steel bulk dwarfing men beside it, a fortress on treads promising unmatched battlefield power. Fire and armor fused in one, the 3.46-inch KWK-43 gun, one of the deadliest cannons of the war, could pierce Allied tanks at over a mile, terrifying in both reach and precision. 77 short tons of steel weight bore down, crushing stone timber and pavement beneath massive tracks, advancing steadily unstoppable, leaving behind wreckage and fear wherever it moved. Born from desperation and designed with obsession, the King Tiger was Germany's final armored gamble. Maximum protection and firepower created at staggering cost. A war machine for a crumbling empire. Veterans describe the Tiger II as a fortress, not merely a tank. Thick armor shielded crews from frontal fire, though its promise came with heavy burdens costly, complex, and slow. Frontal armor measured nearly 5.9 inches, sloped deliberately to deflect shells, making the Tiger II virtually immune from most Allied weapons, an impenetrable wall of steel in battle. At Krupp factories, workers welded massive curved turret plates, sparks flying as steel fused under pressure each unit taking weeks, costly, time-consuming, yet built to endure. Its Maybach HL230 engine produced 700 horsepower, just enough to move the tank, yet insufficient for agility. Mobility was sacrificed for armor speed, traded for survival. The torsion bar suspension absorbed crushing loads, yet failures were frequent under battlefield stress. Immobilization meant crews trapped in steel coffins, helpless before artillery or advancing infantry. At 77 short tons, most bridges could not hold the King Tiger. Engineers reinforced crossings under fire. Without support collapse spelled destruction for both crew and machine. When heavy tracks snapped in combat, crews labored with wrenches and hammers under enemy fire. Teamwork and speed determined survival. Delay meant exposure to deadly artillery. Hatches locked tightly to resist blasts and shrapnel, but once sealed, escape was nearly impossible. A crew entombed inside if fire or explosion struck. Crews smeared mud branches and snow over the Tiger's steel hide. Desperate attempts at concealment yet Allied aircraft and scouts usually spotted them easily. Many King Tigers rolled straight from factory to battlefield, rushed and untested, sent into combat as Germany's desperate answer to overwhelming Allied numbers. The 3.46-inch shell weighed over 40 pounds. Loaders struggled in cramped space. Speed and strength mattered. One mistake slowed the gun. Seconds could mean destruction for the crew. The KWK-43 fired at 3,300 feet per second. Shells left thunderous shock waves, punching through armor or concrete with terrifying ease. Unmatched velocity turned each shot into battlefield dominance. Crews selected ammunition carefully, armor piercing for tanks, high explosive for infantry or fortifications, tungsten core for the heaviest armor. Versatility gave the King Tiger its reputation as unstoppable. After only three shots, the barrel shimmered with heat. Gunners carefully monitored temperature. Misfires or ruptures could cripple the tank. Overheating remained a constant hidden enemy. Loaders trained endlessly for speed, racing against time under combat stress. Each round slammed into the breach with urgency, 
Hesitation under fire risked survival for the entire crew. On the TZF 9B site, gunners tracked Sherman's crossing fields, adjusting elevation to wind and distance. One steady trigger pull unleashed devastation across the battlefield. At 1,100 yard, shells from the King Tiger pierced T-34 frontal armor, devastating proof of superiority. Few Soviet tanks survived direct engagements against its main gun. Hot brass casings clanged against steel floors. Smoke filled the turret. Crews inhaled gunpowder with every breath. Each spent shell echoed the tank's destructive power. Hot brass casings clanged against steel floors. Smoke filled the turret. Crews inhaled gunpowder with every breath. Each spent shell echoed the tank's destructive power. The King Tiger required five men, Commander Gunner Loader Driver and Radio Man, each role essential. Survival depended on coordination. One failure risked doom for the entire crew. Drivers peered through narrow periscopes, guiding 77 short tons of steel across battlefields. Vision was restricted. Every movement carried danger. Mistakes were often fatal under fire. Inside, noise and confusion filled the air. Intercoms crackled. Voices shouted across cramped steel walls. Communication breakdown meant chaos, and chaos meant death inside the fortress. The gunner adjusted optics with steady hands, measuring elevation, wind, and distance. One precise shot could change outcomes. Patience and discipline separated survival from destruction. Red lamps glowed dimly in the turret, casting eerie shadows over sweating faces. Night vision preserved, but fear lingered in the suffocating steel chamber. The commander stood half exposed in the cupola, binoculars raised, spotting threats issuing orders. Every decision carried weight. His vigilance kept both machine and crew alive. Crews ate rations inside the tank. Seated between shells and fuel, meals tasted of smoke oil and fear. Exhaustion and hunger haunted every soldier aboard. Escape drills were frantic. Narrow hatches slowed movement. Every second mattered when under attack. In real combat, few crews escaped before destruction. Temperatures inside soared past 100 Fahrenheit. Sweat-drenched uniforms. Exhaustion drained men quickly. Heat was as dangerous as enemy shells outside. Survival required endurance. Loaders trained relentlessly, racing to chamber shells in seconds. Rhythm and strength mattered. Hesitation under pressure risked survival. Every round loaded was a heartbeat against death. Refueling carried constant danger. 200 gallons of gasoline stored within, one spark could ignite the tiger, transforming steel into an inferno. Men worked nervously during every refill. At night, primitive infrared devices guided the gunner. Targets flickered as shadows. Accuracy demanded patience. Missed shots exposed the tiger's position to waiting enemies. Platoons of king tigers trained together. Precision mattered. One mistake blocked advances or exposed allies. Coordination created strength. Disunity invited disaster across the battlefield. Crews repaired wheels and tracks under shell fire. Tools clanged against steel. Explosions shook the ground. Repairs demanded courage, speed, and teamwork beneath constant danger. Radios often failed in combat. Runners carried orders across gunfire, risking lives for a few sentences. Fragile communication determined whether tigers advanced or fell. In bitter winter, snow and mud slowed armies. Yet the king tiger advanced steadily. Armor provided confidence, while lighter vehicles froze or stalled in the icy wasteland.
In Normandy, king tigers struggled against airstrikes. Hedgerows trapped their bulk. Battles ended quickly. Brutal exchanges that cost lives, tanks, and precious resources within hours. Sherman's rarely survived encounters. One hit from the KWK-43 destroyed them instantly. Burning wrecks littered roadsides, a reminder of the tiger's terrifying dominance. In dense eastern forests, Tiger II's met Soviet IS-2s. Brutal duels at point-blank range. One shell decided everything. Survival was luck as much as skill. In ruined cities, narrow streets trapped the tiger. Infantry swarmed from alleys and rooftops. Armor strong, but mobility poor. Every corner threatened ambush. At 77 short tons, bridges cracked beneath the tiger's weight. Collapses sent crew and steel crashing into rivers, a fatal weakness hidden beneath raw power. When aircraft circled overhead, tigers could not outrun danger. Only smoke screens and silence offered survival. Armor meant nothing against bombs from above. Each confirmed kill boosted morale, but celebrations were brief. Allied artillery often followed the tiger's roar, making survival after victory uncertain and dangerous. Fuel shortages crippled tiger operations. Many tanks abandoned deep in forests, destroyed by their own crews. Better to burn steel than surrender it to enemies. The gearbox failed frequently. 77 short tons strained every gear. Breakdowns left tigers immobile in mud. Helpless giants abandoned as artillery and infantry closed in. Each tiger, too, consumed immense resources. Thousands of labor hours, rare metals and fuel. Battlefield success never balanced cost. Strategic overinvestment weakened Germany further. On steep slopes or in thick mud, the tiger often stalled. Weight turned advantage into liability. Immobility transformed armored superiority into battlefield vulnerability. The tiger's supply chain was fragile. One destroyed fuel truck left entire platoon stranded. Without gasoline, even the strongest tank became little more than useless steel. German officers admitted the King Tiger was too heavy, too costly, too late. An engineering marvel, yes, but strategically a weapon designed for a war already lost. Side by side, the King Tiger dwarfed the Sherman, twice the armor tripled the weight, yet size alone never won wars. Strategy and numbers overcame raw steel. The Tiger's armor was thickest in front, Nearly six inches, but weaker above and behind. Skilled enemies exploited these flaws, proving even kings had vulnerabilities. Allied engineers studied captured tigers, marveling at powerful design, yet condemning inefficiency. Weight cost and complexity outweighed its effectiveness on modern battlefields. Today, only a handful remain restored in museums across Europe, silent monuments to ambition engineering brilliance and the destructive cost of industrial warfare. Survivors recalled noise, heat, and fear. The tiger was both prison and protection, safety wrapped in steel, but also terror every time shells thundered outside. Now rusting in forests, tiger wrecks lie silent, reclaimed by nature. Reminders of hubris ambition and the destructive scale of total war. The King Tiger endures as legend, symbol of unmatched strength, technological brilliance and overreach, an armored titan whose myth survives long after its downfall.